are on a stationary planet. We are the universe. Space doesn't exist. When you tell a lie, you've got to keep telling the lie and tell it well. NASA and the related space agencies, they don't do a good job of lying consistently well. The evidence starts to stack up and pile up and it becomes so, so overwhelming, you just, yeah, you're, you're actually a fool to deny it. The Flat Earth movement has been gaining momentum over the last few years. There's now Flat Earth YouTube channels with millions of views, songs, I'm here to tell you not to lie. and just in the last year, Flat Earth conferences have started popping up around the world. We're about to go into New Zealand's first ever Flat Earth conference to talk to some people who think the world isn't round. It's a Saturday afternoon and we're in the function room of a pub in suburban Auckland. Around 30 flat earthers, or flatmates as they call each other, have gathered for a day of presentation. He says, well, you're not smarter than Einstein or Stephen Hawking. I'm going, no, I don't have to be. Dion started the Flat Earth New Zealand Facebook page two years ago. Now there's about over 700 and we've had triple the growth in the last year. There's that gag reflex that people have when they hear something that seems so crazy. I struggled with it for a year to even talk to someone, so it was good starting up the group. There's a growing movement now and I realise that, yeah, I, I'm not crazy. Current scientific understanding says the world is a sphere spinning through space, but flat earthers think it's a flat, stationary disk. They say what we think of as the North and South Poles are actually giant walls of ice that surround the disc. These walls are patrolled by NASA to stop anybody falling off. The Earth is covered by a dome and gravity doesn't exist. Eleni Inevale travelled all the way to the United States last year for the first international Flat Earth conference. Uh, I basically wanted to be up with the play with the latest research. I don't even like being a flat earther. It seems so crazy to me, but in the final analysis I've always followed my mind. If something's been the truth, I've never strayed away from it. A key tenant of flat earther practice is testing curvature. And I'm going to get this camera here set up. Flat earthers go out and film themselves, taking measurements of the horizon. Dion spent 10 months doing tests. Once you realise something is true no matter from what location you test it. You can't dismiss it, you can't unlearn it, it's just there. But what about all the proof that our Earth is spherical? Well, flat earthers say every photo taken from space is fake. It's been photoshopped. If the Earth was flat though, couldn't I be in New Zealand and get a really good telescope and wouldn't I be able to see Australia? No, because, because the, Australia is thousands of miles away, okay? We can't see that far even if it is flat. As I say, your, your, eye, your line of perspective will only go so far. Most ancient cultures thought the Earth was flat, but by the 6th century BC, the Greek philosopher Pythagoras suggested the idea of a spherical Earth. 300 years later, Aristotle had found supporting evidence. The concept became widely accepted, with European, Middle Eastern and Asian scholars writing of a spherical Earth. But in the 1800s, the debate was resurrected by a number of writers and preachers who made maps, experiments and publications arguing for a flat earth theory. For many of today's flat earthers, their belief is based off the Bible. There's 75 phrases in the Bible that mention the word stationary earth, under a dome, the firmament, but you put two and two together. So you take the word of the Bible seriously? Oh, don't we all? Presenting the globe model, teaching the globe model, disseminating it. I think it's part of hiding God. I think it's part of hiding the truth. Now, if they can get people to think that they're random bits of organic matter that are here by chance, that have no purpose, and are really significant in the bigger scheme of things, we accept what they tell us. We accept the purpose that they give us, because we have none of our own. The Flat Earthers consider themselves free thinkers. They don't trust authority, maybe because it's done them wrong in the past. Well, I'm a bit of a rebel myself, you know, so um, I don't take well to authority. I've had my days where I've been in trouble. But to stumble onto, onto the Flat Earth movement was a, um, was a true awakening, I tell you. It can be scary to think that we're tiny and that our lives mean nothing. I got the sense that Flat Earth gives people a structure, 
A divine being created the Flat Earth and a network of powerful bad guys, whether that's NASA, the Freemasons or the UN, work to hide the truth. It's a simple good versus bad, when the globe Earth is random and chaotic. You can't stop truth, for example, and this is truth to us. I mean, people might want to call us crazy and left field and that, but to us this is just the simple truth. <laughs>